السلام عليكم ورحمة الله Hi all, in this video we will talk about important technology which is near field communication. This is the outlines of our video. Firstly, we will talk about the introduction, then history, why we need this technology, what this technology is trying to solve, NFC work, the issues and solve the, these issues, advantage and disadvantage, implementation, research areas for NFC technology, and the future, finally apply this technology. One of the newest wireless technologies is near field communication or NFC. The most common applications in our lives use NFC technologies. NFC is still a growing technology which is going to be integrated in every mobile phone over time, which brings a big potential reach globally. Now I will talk about history of near field communication. NFC roots back to radio frequency identification. RFID is a technology which uses radio frequency signals to transmit small amount of data. In 2002, Philips and Sony was started work on NFC and they complemented it. In 2004, NFC became accepted information communication technology. Now, in 2013, FISA and Samsung work together and improve work together to improve payment systems. Overview of near field communication. NFC stands for near field communication implemented as a chip in a mobile phone or other mobile device or in a card. In a card. NFC is a short range wireless connectivity technology. Near field communication is a set of standard for smartphones to establish communication with each other and close together that enables objects such as mobile phones, computers, tags or poster to exchange information. Mobile phone like Nokia, HTC, Samsung, Blackberry and mobile network providers apply, apply this technology. What is, what is NFC? Near field communication, it is wireless technology based on that technology of radio frequency identification. Operates at frequency of 13.56 MHz. Data transfer rate is slow, which is up to 400 to 24 kilobits per second. The distance allowing for communication between near field communication devices is between 3 to 10 centimeters that provide high security. Why we need this technology? It is a modern technology contributed in facilitates facilitate routine transactions in everyday life. It is suitable for roaming at all times. Because its speed and its range are slow, therefore, consume less power. In addition, NFC is a hassle-free communication. For example, in the Bluetooth technology, we need to activation, activation the, the Bluetooth icon as a first step. Then, search for the desired device, then do the pairing process between them. But in NFC technology, communication occurs once the device within the, the device is within the range. These techniques can also work with RFID tags, while other wireless technologies such as Bluetooth cannot do that. We have more solutions and facilities provided by near field communication technology like more secure than similar technologies like RFID and Bluetooth because it's short range and share information and easier to use transport and other public services. Now we will compare NFC technology with other short range communication technology such as Bluetooth and infrared. 
Firstly, network type of near field communication and an infrared is point to point, but Bluetooth is point to multipoint. The speed of a Bluetooth is faster than near field communication and the mode of near field communications is active, active and or active to passive. But the Bluetooth and the infrared have only active, active mode. How does it work? A picture of NFC work can be seen in the figure. Both the transmitter and the receiver contain a coil. The sender is emits a current, which turns the magnetic field around the device. If the receiver is close enough, the current in the receiver's coil is altered due to this field, changing the current flow in the receiver. This is used to send data. Active mode vs passive mode. There are two operation modes in which this can be done. Either both devices has their own power source in which can both of them can transmit and receive data. This is called active mode. The other mode is called passive mode. In this mode, only one of the devices generate a current, and therefore only that device can send data. The other device is powered only by the current created by the received magnetic field. Challenges facing near field communication technologies is eavesdropping, data corruption, data modification, data insertion, and man in the middle attack. Firstly, eavesdropping when two devices communicate by NFC. The attackers can be used antenna to receive the signal. Data corruption meaning the receiver cannot understand the data sent by other device. Data modification is unauthorized changing of data. Data insertion done only by attacker inserts data into the communication channel before answer of device is start. Man in the middle attack when Alice and Pop want to talk to each other, but we have third party between Alice and Pop, intercept the data without knowledge of Alice and Pop. The solutions for each challenge. The best solution for prevent eavesdropping and modification of data and data insertion is establish secure channel. And we can use active passive communication mode in man in the middle attack. Advantages and disadvantages of NFC technology. The first advantage is convenience. NFC is a perfect way to simplify the daily life because it can be merged the mobile phone with your wallet so you can pay anything using your cell phone without need to carry the credit card. NFC is also quite intuitive. It is requires only simple touching on a button when using NFC for payments. Uh, in addition, safety. If the thief stole your wallet, he can access to your credit card and use it. While if you put the, all your credit cards debit cards in your cell phone and make a password to protect, to protect from unauthorized access to your cell phone. This will be prevent the thief from access to your secret information and use it. Also, the near, the near communication between the devices provide a secure channel. In using the encryption of data when exchange, the data will be prevent the hackers from thief the sensitive information. In addition, if the thief stole your smartphone, a GPS enabled smartphone can be tracked down and recovered. Also, the NFC provides the information to customers about the product such as price, calories, etc. And no need to sell representatives to explain the products like its components.
and it is used for what? Of course, this will be saving money. Plus that, NFC suitable is suitable for non-technical users because it is provide automatic connections without need to set up. Also, no need to manufacture physical cards, so we'll, we so will be saving money. Another advantage of NFC is inter uh, inter probably inter inter probably globally, such as payment for from anywhere around the world. The disadvantage of NFC technology is company agreements to use NFC. Some of companies don't agree to integrate NFC into their business, so you cannot use this comfortable technology. In addition, the security. NFC is prone to viruses, also the hackers. Also, not all the cell phones are compatible with NFC technology. And lack of education. Not all users know how to protect their phones using either passwords or using antivirus software or other. Implement this technology. Near field communication devices can operate in three different modes read or write modes, peer to peer, card emulation. In read or write device, read or write data to any tag such as smart poster. Peer to peer is simple way to share any data like contact information or video between two NFC devices. Card emulation. Enable device act as reader when in contact with the tag and act as tag for existing reader like payment system. Payment system the best example of payment system is e-wallet holding user payment, payment information and credit card. The advantage of e-wallet is flexibility and safety. The popular example of payment system application is Google Wallet stores credit card. With Google Wallet, you can send money and shopping online. Work of Google Wallet, we have two choice, use it online and use it in store. In use it online, firstly, look for this, look for either of these button at checkout and click to pay sign into your account. In use it in store, look for these samples at checkout and tap your phone on the reader. Research areas for NFC technology. The first area is security. From the important provide a security solutions for NFC technology because it is transfer as sensitive information. The second is usability, which is studied in three cases. NFC in context of human computer in, in human computer interaction we use the touching to establish an NFC connection. UB, NFC and ubiquitous computing and design of NFC phones. Thirdly, reliability. It is important field that NFC technology provided during transfer data between devices because NFC operates in short range, so it, it prevent interference with other signals. Also, the signal when transmitted over lo a long distances will causing weakness of the signal power. Therefore, lossing of data will occur. So, the data don't reach in the required quality. NFC short range, therefore, the reliability of the data. Fourthly, marketing. Also, Performance NFC, perfor, perfor, NFC performance better than Bluetooth because Bluetooth transmits on one file at a one time, but NFC can transfer multiple files at a one time. Finally, flexibility NFC technology provides the flexibility of different data types to be stored on the NFC tag. Also, 
it does not require an additional application to transfer informations. Apply this technology. Firstly, make sure the NFC is available in both devices. And select the item you want to transfer, then touch the back of the devices together. You will see touch to PIM. After touch, the device will, will start to sending data. Finally, the receiver device will display the data. Future of this technology. Near field communication is hoped to expand from mobile payment to student ID card and alternative to key. In 2014, the number of NFC devices in use will be increased. Example to future application is unlocking door. Conclusion Near field communication or NFC is an efficient technology for communications with short range. It provides a simple way to transfer different types of data between electronic devices. This technology is still at, at the beginning of the journey. It is still under development to become one of the most important techniques in the near future. It is will be a perfect substitute for Bluetooth technology. In addition to providing additional features we are not fine were not found in Bluetooth and other short range wireless technologies. Thank you.